Hi, welcome or welcome back to my channel. So in this video, as you can see by the title, today I'm gonna be doing another hair wax video and this time I'm trying the color blue. This is my third hair wax video on my channel and I plan on doing some more like purple and I think silver, gold, just a bunch of different colors I wanna try on my hair. So anyways, I already washed my hair, conditioned my hair and it's ready to go. I'm just tying up one side so I can do one side at a time. This is the hair wax I'll be using. I've been using this same brand for all my videos, all the other videos I have, but this one is blue. And then I also had to section my hair off again. I'm gonna keep sectioning my hair just so that I can distribute the hair wax everywhere and not have any spaces that I left out or anything like that and then I'm using a spray bottle and I'm putting more water on my hair just because my hair felt a little bit dry I didn't want to put the wax on dry hair so I went ahead and I'm putting water on and just like smoothing it through combing it through whatever and I don't know if I said this or not but when I do this hairstyle I only put water and the wax in my hair I don't use gel or anything else like that because I don't want stuff like weighing my hair down you know I don't want a bunch of stuff in my hair so I only put the water in no gel no cream no nothing like that so as you can see I already started putting the wax in my hair and I had to section my hair off again as you can see also because you need to make sure you're getting every strand coated because if you do a big glob like that you're not going to get nothing coated you're going to have like pieces in there that are not fully coated with the wax you know but anyways I'm putting that on I'm also focusing on kind of the ends of my hair I'm making sure not to get this like right on my root you know so you guys can just watch me continue to put this in my hair So once I finish that top section, I'm going back in and I'm making sure I didn't miss any spots. Um, I'm just like parting my hair and going through that. A couple pieces did not have wax on them at all. So I'm just going through and making sure everything is coated. Once I felt like that side was coated and I got every strand, I went ahead and moved on to the other side and I'm doing the same thing. Now I'm combining both the sections together and I'm just going through making sure that everything is coated. A couple pieces on the other side like did not have any uh, wax on them at all. So yeah, I'm putting the wax on there, making sure it's all coated. And yeah, I went ahead now and I'm pulling my hair back into like a ponytail, loose ponytail. And this is just so that I can do my edges. Um, and for my edges, I will be using both my Wetline Extreme Gel here. And then I'm also using my edge brush. And I'm also using some Edge Booster. I said I didn't like Edge Booster, but this is like all I had at the moment. So I'm using those two together. And I'm just doing my edges how I normally would. Also, I made sure to wipe my hands off and to wash my hands before I did this because I did not want any blue or you know wax or anything getting on my edges a little bit got on there but it wasn't bad i didn't want them to be you know completely blue like the ends of my hair but i am going in like i said doing my edges and you can see that front part of my hair is like basically my hair color and it's not any blue up there that is my intentions i don't want any uh wax up there in that front part of my hair um so yeah, I'm just continuing to do my edges. I also had to wipe some of the wax I had on my forehead. I had a lot on my forehead, on my ears, a little bit on my neck. I just had to wax everywhere, so I went ahead and just wiped that off. So once I finished that, I'm taking my hair down, and I just want my part to be a little bit neater and a lot straighter because it was obviously crooked. So I went ahead and used my comb, the end of my comb there, or my edge brush, and I'm making this uh, part a little bit straighter. I 
I put a little water in my hair and I also detangled my hair off camera. So, but this is how it looks once I finish detangling my hair. It is still wet in that clip. And now this is a couple hours later. Um, my hair is still wet, but it's a little bit dry. It's like 70% dry probably. And I did put like ponytails in my hair just so I could stretch my hair out a little bit. And it did work even though my hair is not dry all the way. I'm also trying to add more volume to my hair and shape it a little bit more. Um, and it did shrink up a little bit later on, but not a lot because my hair right now, like I said, is not 100% dry. Also, I was surprised how my hair right now, like the shirt I'm wearing, it didn't transfer or anything. I had a lot of questions about if like the color transfers on your clothes a lot or your hands. Obviously, my hands, you can see it transferred and it's still on there a little bit more, but my shirt, it did not have anything on it. I was so shocked and surprised. So in this clip here, you can see my hands, they're not stained, but they do have wax on them from touching my hair. But I can easily wash my hands and the wax will be gone. And that's how easy you can wash the wax out of your hair. Also, I only get this much transfer on my hands when my hair is wet. When my hair is dry, it's more of like a flaky transfer. So no matter what, you are going to get some type of transfer when you're using this, at least from my experience I have. And last, I would say to wear some type of bonnet or scarf to bed so that this does not transfer on your pillows or on your bed or anything like that. But that's all for this video. Hope you guys liked the video and everything I showed. And if you did, make sure to like, comment, subscribe for more content and more videos from me. Also, if you have any more questions, leave them down below. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye!